We're live. Alright. Okay, so nandito po isang magandang gabi sa inyo lahat at welcome to another edition of the Ultimate Panel Podcast, a podcast made by the fans. For the fans! Ayan, si, si Jordan Summer po ito, kasama ko si John Reyes, si Chaka Bandong, and our guest co-host in continuation of our fan engagement series, si Mr. Francis Marasigan, live! From Texas. Kumusta Grabe Francis? Tayala. <laughs> Teka, pa-describe pa- pa- mo na natin kay Francis. Kumusta yung pinaka yung una, yung last episode nakasama natin siya. Kumusta yung experience Francis? Ah, ano? Nag-enjoy ako do sa last episode natin kasi si ano. Salamat nga pala kay ano kay Kirby Raimundo, no? Pinaunlakan niya tayo um, la- during the last episode, no? So, ayun, nag-enjoy ako. So, babak to baka ako ngayon kasi isa na namang ano. Letran legend ang kasama natin ngayon. Mm-hmm. Go Jordan. And yun nga, no? Para, para sa mga fans, mga ka-ultimate na patuloy na sumusuporta dito sa The Ultimate Fan of Podcast, isang malaking thank you sa inyo and sana tuloy-tuloy lang po ang pagtutok ninyo sa, episode, sa episodes natin. Oh. Francis, take it away. Sino ba ang guest natin ngayong gabi? Um, ano? Itong kasama natin, ano? Actually, may video pa nga tayo dapat eh, di ba? Merong... Pwede ba natin pakita yung video na yun? Oh, sige, taga lang. <coughs> Wait lang, play ko ah. Kasi para, 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 mas, para mas makilala ng gusto ko sino yung... Oh. Taga, ito sa mga susunod, Facebook susunod, live, susunod, yeah. Facebook viewers natin ah, we're playing this video, especially for uh, regarding to sa guest natin tonight. To try yes. to score a three-point shot, Facebook. here is Calagio. Magandang naro ito, balikan nito sa YouTube. This is courtesy of... Philippine Sports Bureau YouTube page. Yan, nagpag, nagpagulong-gulong pa sa <laughs> Sige Francis, sino ba yung guest natin tonight? Ah, yung guest natin, no? Um, I should say, ano eh, he's, he, he is a winner. Eh. He has won on every level. High school, college, MBA, PBL, national team, PBA. Um, pag 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 ganung ang basketball player ano eh you're beyond blessed na eh di ba so wala ka nang hihingin pa um di ko na rin pala tagalin no uh, ang guest natin ngayon 1998 NCAA MVP um 2001 SEA Games gold medalist and one of the greatest shooters in Philippine basketball history uh none other than ano Chris Calagio yon so yes isang maganda gabi Yon! Good evening, good evening. Sa Magandang gabi sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Mm-hmm. Medyo mahangin na gabi. <laughs> Oo. Sa inyo lahat. <laughs> Akin malamig na umaga. <laughs> malamig na umaga, Nash. <laughs> nga. Um, by the way, this episode is brought to you by Swish Fit and OD5. Dip sila pang partners ng The Ultimate Fan of Podcast. So, Coach Chris, to start to kick things off dito sa show natin. Coach, Kumusta ang buhay natin lately, lalo na itong COVID-19 breakout? Well, um, first of all, talagang, ano, ano, talagang medyo mahirap. Uh, na-lock in tayo. And then, um, lahat ng mga gusto natin and kailangan natin gawin, hindi natin masyado magawa ng freely. So, lahat tayo nagsasuffer, although nakapag-adjust naman na from how many months are we in now from the start of the COVID, parang more than four months na, di ba? Five. So, so far, um, nakapokus lang sa keeping in shape, papawis, and then... Um, yung ginawa ko si parang mind, yung mindset ko parang off muna sa from what I'm doing yung coaching and uh, ano so right now parang more on ano ko more on uh, uh, mountain biking yeah nice. kasi doon walang covid eh sa bundok walang oh. covid tama <laughs> <laughs> right. coach to um Paano nga ba nagsimula ang isang Chris Calagio? So, well, um, um, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, paano ba Chris Calagio? 
Okay. Um, well, kasi ano, alam mo, franchise ano yun. So, lahat naman ng players dyan, start from from scratch, di ba? Um, first of all, dapat naging passion. So, ako, grade school pa lang. Ang talagang naging mentor ko rito, yung dad ko. Siya yung talaga nag-influence sa akin na to play basketball. Kasi he used to be a basketball player also during his time. Um, ano ba yun? Uh, before PBA, parang nika ba yun? Parang... Yeah. Yeah. Oo, so from there, nahilig hanggang sa dumating yung point na nakikita na lang kami, breakfast, then the whole day, hindi niya na alam kung nasaan ako. Then, ayun, <laughs> dayo ng tayo, basketball dito, basketball doon, lahat ng may mga kalaro, lahat basta may basketball court, basta may uh, makakalaro, tuloy, buong araw, gabi na lang kami nakikita. And then from there, uh Nag-excel na nag-excel, nag-improve na nag-improve, hanggang na nagkaroon ng mga opportunities na from uh, grade school, then high school. Go see, Chad. Um, before I ask my question, with like, yeah. I just like to acknowledge Coach Louis Alas, who's watching also the hey, podcast. Wow. Good evening, Coach Louis. Good evening, Louis. Daddy Louis. Daddy Coach Louis. Um, Coach Chris, yeah. what made you decide to play for Letra Knights after spending your high school years playing for the rivals on Beda Red Cub? That question comes from our fellow Letra Knight, Chris Ortiz Santos. Okay. Um, first of all, there's, there are a few things that um, uh, sabi natin, uh, I considered before moving to to Letran. Ang una-una doon, I was actually rejected by the coach of San Beda during my time. Sana wala akong walang magalit sa akin. <laughs> okay? So, um, graduating uh, uh, that time sa Beda, uh, actually tryout pa ako uh, for college sa San Beda. And then, uh, yun nga, hindi tayo pinalad, hindi rin tayo masyado napansin kasi they have other, I'm sure naman, they have other uh, players in mind that would, you know, they trusted more. So, dito na mapapasok yung ating mabuting kaibigan na si fellow Letra Knight also, uh, si Monch Gavieres. So, I'm sure mga oldies, kilala niya yan, okay? So, yes, that's much coming in. Yeah, oo. Oh. Si Monch is the one who helped me uh, get to Letran. Uh, siya lagi ang uh, that time, okay, when I was uh, still uh, graduating pa lang from BEDA, si Monch lagi kalaro ko sa basketball. Uh, when we were, I was still living in Merville that time, so ito si Monch talaga, talagang tinuturuan ako, maraming, maraming siyang skills na naitulong sa akin, uh, mga payo, mga guidance, okay? So marami kami mga tournaments na inside and out of uh, Merville na, ano, na sinalian, okay? So very thankful ako dito sa ating kaibigan na si Coach Monch Gavieres also. Uh, Coach Chris, kumusta yung transition mo from high school basketball uh, papunta, paakyat sa seniors? Oh, well, ako very blessed talaga, okay? Um, very blessed ako. Na-realize ko yun. First, first of all, um, nung, nung didala ako ni Monch sa, sa Letran for tryout, so happen na yung mga ibang players ng Letran is Parang uh, hindi pa naman. Yung iba graduating na rin or fi- tapos na rin sa uh, playing years nila with the run. And then yung others naman, may ibang uh, opportunity na hindi ko lang alam, hindi ko na matandaan. I can't remember kung lumipat pa or ayaw na maglaro. Okay, so that time ang parang mostly seniors na naabutan ko sila Kuya Francis Arabit. Sila Kuya Paul Guerrero, uh, Gilbert Castillo, Gilbert Castillo, of course, yung mga yan. Uh, graduate na sila Dennis Marcelo noon eh, nung time na yun eh. So, uh, yan. So, parang as in, parang 
five yata or six lang na A1 sa lineup nung letran that time pumasok ako. Uh, coach, um, well, dadagdagan ko lang yung tanong ni Jonas, no? Like yung So yung uh, ano yung nung rookie year mo ba sa letran? Um, okay, would you consider it like parang adjusting period din kasi syempre ano hindi naman ikaw yung superstar agad ng team, no? So paano ka naka-adjust nung naka, nung naipasok ka na sa 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 varsity team? Paano ka um, naka-adjust? Okay. Um well Maraming tayo pinagdaanan, di ba? Siyempre, so, yung mga seniors natin, nandun na yung physical play, nandun na yung uh, adjustment to the new community, uh, new system, parang uh, bagong culture. Pero tayo naman as a basketball player, we, we, we know how to adjust na lang on kung paano natin kakayanin. Pero kailangan talaga. I mean, you know, you have no options but to adjust to kung ano yung ano yung kailangan. So, marami struggles. Marami tayong struggles na pinagdaanan. Siyempre, may mga frustration. And then, uh, kasama na rin na rin doon yung mga uh, attitudes, di ba? So, uh, thankful naman, okay, nakapag-adjust uh, sa, sa gusto rin ni Coach, Coach Rudy. And then, yung mga coaches natin doon, Wilmon Yu, Uh, Raymond Coach Raymond Reyes um uh, sino pa ba yung isa uh, trainer natin si Coach Rino, coach mo, di ba? I'm sorry si si Coach Rino sana sa naging coach mo din um actually si Coach Rino kasi parang ano natin that time parang consultant ng Letran that time so pag sa games official games umuupo siya sa bench natin practices oh very hard working din si Coach Rino so Um, parang uh, he's calling the shots also once in a while pero yun, more on, on guidance and mentoring talaga si, ano, si Coach Rino Ayan, si Coach Chris Calagio joining us tonight sa Don't Do Stand Up Podcast Fan Engagement Series Ayan, uh, Coach Chris naalala mo pa ba yung first game mo wearing a, wearing a Litran jersey sa college? Hmm, teka lang ah, medyo Ah, <laughs> uh, kukain mo pa ba, coach? <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, teka lang. O okay, practice. O yung practice or siguro yung mga first time mo magsuot ng Detroit jersey. Ah, uh, teka lang. <laughs> teka, well, there are some yeah, practice o oh, okay lang. Um kasi Rookie year, ang pinaka first practice ko yata doon. Uh, ang naalala ko talaga, pagka ano eh, ang, ang talaga pumapasot ako rookie year ko is yung pinaparusahan ako ni Coach Rudy <laughs> sa practice. <laughs> Pero uh, I, I, ano, I'm sorry, talagang medyo mahina na memory natin. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, go see siya um, Padala, padala Ayun, um, Coach Chris Kasi before this episode na kwen, Nagkaroon kami ng chance Ni Coach Louie na magka-usap By uh, um, online Tapos yeah. He described you to me as his MVP And a good person Even outside the basketball court What can you say about it? Well, uh, first of all, ako talaga, very overwhelmed talaga ako and th- na thankful talaga kay Coach Louie. Um, uh, nagkaroon ng opportunity na to be coach uh, by Coach Louie, you know. Um, galing very patient person, very present coach. Um, nakapag uh, bigay ako ng sakit ng ulo sa kanya syempre um, you know kasi di ba parang dumadaan din kasi sa sa point ng players yan eh pag medyo seniors ka na feeling mo parang uh, most of the time parang nasusunod ka parang ganon so 
dumating din ako sa mga point na yon so aminado naman ako sa mga mistakes ko although um, from there with uh, the guidance of uh, coach Louis then mga teammates then mga assistant coaches tagang very patient sila na you know to to mold and bring in a new culture para sa nung time na yon so talagang ibang klase maghumawak ng ng team at player si Coach Louis so very thankful ako doon at na mold niya at kasama ako doon sa mga opportunity at time na yon and being uh, a member of uh, a champion team with him um okay uh, yung tanong ko is related pa rin kay Coach Louis no tsaka, tsaka sa so ito first four or first three or first four years mo talagang it was a, it was a struggling uh, period para sa iyo kasi malakas yung team pero laging kinakapos sa bandang huli. Now, the 1998 season came with a new coach, si Coach Louis Alas. Um, paano mo ni-receive yung pagdating niya? And for, from your perspective, ano sa tingin mo yung binago ni Coach Louis Alas para maging, ano, para matransform niya yung team niyo into a championship team? Okay. Um... Okay. Um, actually, yung first three, first three years or four years sa sa Letran, um, grabe naman kasi yung time na yon, di ba? Yung time ng baste, di ba? Parang super powerhouse lagi yung lineup nila. Although kahit malakas yung lineup natin, talagang you know, uh, yung uh, pagdating sa huli talagang medyo hindi pa ganong kadip yung bench natin. Okay. Um, there are some histories kasi in 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 uh through throughout that transition from the first to the my final year with Latran, di ba? Um andiyan din yung mga struggles, mga naging problema, mga ano. Um actually uh, very thankful ako that I was Uh, able to play for my uh, last year with Bridgetran kasi siguro yung baka yung iba sa inyo um, ayoko na lang hulang kahalong katin pero alam nila Kirby yan alam nila really yung mga yung mga transition na yun mga naging problema okay uh, uh, buti na lang ano nagkaroon pa I mean naayos and then karoon pa na opportunity um With, with with going back to your question, Saman, with uh, how I adjusted to ano uh, to Coach Louis, ah, uh, sure, um, new mentor, everyone's excited, everyone, uh, every player wants to learn new, uh, new things, di ba? Uh, to consider, you no, know, um, it's your last year, and then everyone's hungry for a championship. Um, everyone's really motivated to work as hard as we can with the new coaching staff coming in. So, talagang ano kami? Uh, talagang uh, nakipagtulungan kami in every way. We adjusted to whatever we needed to, you know. Um, uh, yun nga, talagang nagbunga naman lahat ng, ano, ng uh, paghihirap with that, uh, with that year in 98. Ano yun. Uh, Coach Chris, uh, during your time sa NCAA, sino yung toughest match-up mo nun? Yung talagang grabe bumantay sa'yo, talagang kahit hanggang nasa bench ka na, hinahabol ka pa rin from the opposing school. Ah, Ang dami, marami naman. Um, actually, marami talaga. Um, first, di ba, sila, sila Ralph. Ralph Rivera. Um, Sandeda, yeah, oh. oo. Yung batch din nila, talagang ano yun. Um, they have a lot of uh, good defenders din. Jamer Rivera, yan. Sa Baste, si Kopex, si Coach Topex. Talagang, uh, grabe bumantay yun. Um, uh, very, ano, hassle player yun, si Coach Topex. Talagang, ano, um, bato-bato. Uh, other than that, sino pa ba? Uh, mapuwa sila. Pat, <laughs> oo, si Patrick Benedicto. Yan, even, uh, taller and uh, bigger than me. Ay, ang hirap. Oo. Tapos sa JRU naman si ano si MVP ren, di ba? Si na- Coach Nani. Si Pondulan. Pondulan, oo. Oh. Yeah, tough player din 'yan. Uh, 
And then uh, from perpetual, sino pa ba mga nabutan natin sa perpetual? I think I think yun yung team nila Jim De Vega, di ba? Yeah, Jim yeah, correct, correct. Oh, that's what I uh, I have in mind also. G Jim, yeah. So um uh, marami, marami, okay. So uh good thing we also have a lot of uh, tough players, di ba? Isa na pinaka-top players na malaking na itulong sa atin, si Erwin Velez, di ba? <laughs> very... Yan ang polis ng team eh. <laughs> Oo, oh, 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 oh. talagang ano natin yan. Yan ang uh, kumbaga pumaprotect sa mga guards natin. Parang, para siyang si Charles Oakley. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> Accurate yun, Francis. Yes. I, um, Coach Chris, nabanggit kanina ni Francis na yun nga, y- yung sa first few years mo sa Letran, talagang may struggle. Tsaka nahir- nahirapan kayo sa team na yung tinakapos. But eventually, umabot sa point na yan, na-transform yung team into a contending one. Tapos, nasali pa doon yung ikaw coach Chris naging M- naging NCAA MVP ka no 1998 kumusta naman yun ano pa yung parang nag-click doon sa nasa season na yun I'm sorry I'm sorry can you repeat yung last yung last part lang yung last part ano yung nag ano ah, ano ano yung nag-click nung season na yun parang you know things went your way ah uh, from from rookie to the last year Siguro specific more on sa ano, more on sa year na yun, yung 1998, yung nag-MVP ah, okay. ka. Yung, Alam mo kasi ano eh, ako kasi I believe na ano rin, yung uh, nagiging hinug yung players, di ba? So nagmamature, uh, nagmamature yung player, uh, parang nag-grow, okay? So siguro that time, uh, yun yung talaga yung pick, pick ko para sa college. And then at the same time, um, yung timing din, di ba? Yung timing din of events na yung ibang teams na uunang graduate or umaalis yung mga key players nila, uh, na babawasan din sila ng mga ibang players na malaki na itutulong sa team. So I'm sure yung mga factors niya marami. Eh. As I, everyone works hard. We all know that. Um, Every school's recruits, we all know that, di ba? Talagang ano yan. So, ako talaga, uh, tingin ko, uh, true perseverance talaga ng bawat players yan, ng team. Talagang magbubunga at mabubunga yan. Kasi imagine, all schools naman, ganun talaga ang gusto nilang mangyari, mag-champion, di ba? So, with a, with a good mentor, with a good coach, with a good system, with the right timing and right pieces, uh, all uh, all uh, being put together. So, yun ang magiging success talaga eh. Pero, hindi magiging successful ang isang team with with all the pieces kung hindi matured ang mga players then at the same time. So, I'm, I, I believe na yung yung timing, yung, yung kumbaga parang... Like fall yung, into place, no, coach? Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Parang it's time, parang time talaga, time natin, time ng veteran talaga na mag-champion that year. Then after that, tuloy-tuloy na, di ba? So. Oh, Tija? <laughs> um, Pampalight lang po ng mood yung question ko. Coach Chris, ano po yung recovery meal ninyo? Oh, that time, yung... a veteran night. Oo, para okay. sa sa'yo namin usapan. <laughs> Issue yan ah! Hindi! Ano lang, Coach? In light of the Hindi! Oo! Wala, wala yan. Coach, kasi last week, hindi. Hindi, oo. Yeah, yeah. Ito yung background, Coach. Last week kasi si Coach Kirby tinanong din namin and na-mention niya yung ano, yung sinigang. Oo, natanggap. Saka yung pork chop ni Manang. Oo! Kayo po, ano po ba yung recovery meal niya? Yun, actually, ang pinaka ang pinaka matindi, di ba? Bukod doon sa ating banana queue, katabi ng basketball team natin, kila, di ba? Uh, yung ano, yung uh, naalala niyo yung tapat ng Lyceum, di ba? Yung, ano ba tawag doon? May mga masasap na pagkain doon. Subo, yes. 
Yes, oo. Doon kami madalas kumain. Pero, syempre, yung, yung ating meal sheet nung time na yon yun ang pinaka-recovery meal natin. So, hindi natin, hindi naman tayo mapili that time. Basta hanggat meron, yun ang kinakain natin. Okay? So, that time talaga, okay na ako doon. Okay na kami doon. Panalo na. Uh, nakakatulong na hanggat meron. So, hindi naman tayo, ano, paselan. <laughs> <laughs> hindi naman tayo nag- nagre-reklamo na mga matika yung kinakain, no? Oo. Oh, hindi, kasi, alam nyo, hindi na kasi naman natin pwedeng i-compare yung time na yon sa mga times na itong mga, ano, millennial. Di ba? Yes. Makatama ako. Ano, ano, follow up lang po. Follow up lang po na question. Yung, yung chicken ni Ma'am George po ba consistent from noon till now? Ay, oo. Oh, oh. Talagang, ano, ah, uh, Talagang doon tayo lagi kay Mang George eh, 'di ba? Hindi naman nang doon naman tayo kumukuha ng sarap ng chicken natin. Oo. Oh, eh uh, it's so happy na ang chicken talaga is yung protein natin ang kailangan. So, manok talaga ni Mang George. <laughs> Actually, coach ano eh nung last week nakasama namin si Coach Kirby Raymond. Tapos nakwento nga nila, yun nga nila, Chincha, yung mga resident Tetra Knights natin, si Chincha at si Francis. Nakwento nila yung mga iba-ibang pagkain dyan sa Tetra. Natakam kami, pork chop eh, sa totoo lang. Kung yeah, ano oh. naman pa ba yun? Um, <laughs> ako talaga, pasensya nyo na ako kasi yung memory ko medyo, ano. Um, actually, hindi kasi na ako sanay sa, ano, I, 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 I seldom uh, post anything on on you know on social media lately i mean from after nung ano after nung uh hey days di ba uh so hindi ako masyado updated na rin sa halos ano mga nangyayari ni ano uh del province uh, ano ko eh based ako eh so you know kahit as much possible. May times na nanonood tayo ng mga games. May times na nakakababa tayo ng Manila. Pero talagang dito talaga tayo, guys. So, na yung connection ko sa ano sa sa ating mga letran ano events, hindi ako masyado na-update. Uh, Coach Chris, in your own observation, uh, how has college basketball evolved? mula nung time mo to the, the current uh, laro ngayon sa NCAA, pati na rin sa UAAP? Well, um, grabe na improvement, you know? Um, grabe na improvement ng, ng, uh, ng players ngayon, ng mga varsity. Um, naglalakihan na rin, di ba? Uh, ngayon, mga point cards, ang lalaki na, although uh, Mostly, sa recruitment, uh, palakasan na rin talaga sobra. May mga fill-ups na rin, halos lahat, di ba? Uh, although meron naman back in the days, pero syempre hindi naman masyado nakapokus. Parang feeling ko lang, yung time namin is more on uh, all Filipino, ano, uh, talagang uh, more from Although we can't say na it's not coming from the heart naman sports din eh okay pero parang is is uh, ano lang uh atrap lang uh i-recall yung mga panahon kasi dati talagang ang NCAA talagang pag walang pisikalan, walang away, walang suntukan kahit pagkapit ba ay sa uh intramuros, di ba? So hmm. I think yung ngayon kasi parang more on ano na yun, mas 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 ano sila ngayon mas uh, uh, na expose okay kumbaga in terms of uh, media pero uh, malaking factor yeah pa ba yan data no since uh, since pinag-uusapan na natin yung college basketball so ano yung stance mo uh, regarding sa presence ng mga foreign student athletes sa college basketball aning masasabi mo sa kanila well so, I mean, actually, ano ba, yun, eh. or 
Well, actually, nakakatulong yan kasi in terms of leveling up your uh, leveling up ng style of play, di ba? Kasi, you know, from mainland sila or from other countries, okay? They have a different culture. They bring in new cultures, new styles. They're bigger, they're stronger. Uh, definitely a lot. We, can, we can't say a lot better, pero, you know, Ang 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 downside lang naman kasi nitong mga fail ups or ano mga ano. Uh, is nawawala ng opportunity yung mga grassroots natin. Uh, we're not taking away the opportunity uh, that uh, those fail ups coming in because they wanted also to you know to get exposed and the opportunity. Uh, sana lang ano um uh wag lang sana masyado maapektuhan yung mga locals natin yung mga grassroots uh, players natin na ano na nakukuwanan or nananakawan ng spots although yung basketball kasi talaga is a team of ano eh di ba composed of a team of best of the best so as long as uh, you have all the uh, players that you needed syempre sa mga coaches uh everyone wants to win kaya hindi natin maalis doon competition talaga yan eh we have to get better we have to get stronger so nasa player na rin yun pero yung given the fact na parang uh, as an experience na parang nasama ko rin nakasama rin sa mga experience namin yun na may mga teammates kayong hard worker pero biglang may darating na ganito na lang so that's life is at not not fair talaga, di ba? Unfair naman talaga ang ano natin. So, wala tayong magagawa doon. <laughs> okay, Coach. Um, last question natin for before we go on break. Coach Chris, what are the lessons or lessons that you have learned in Letran that you still apply in your life even up to now? Well, um, if there's one thing, um, Letran has uh, you know, giving us so much exposure, so much opportunity uh, para sa career, di ba? So, uh, one thing uh, I always carry na lang with me is, you know, um, siguro is, uh, aside from being thankful, is yung being humble na lang all the way. Wherever mapunta, ano man ang ginagawa, ano man, ka, ano man ako ngayon, or ano man, uh, coaching or non-coaching, uh, kung sino man ang kasama, gano'n. Humble, I, I try to be humble as much as possible kasi, you know, umiikot lang naman ng, ang, ano eh, ang buhay, di ba? So, you know, uh, it's one thing I'm proud of. Siguro yun lang talagang being humble na lang siguro, as a letter night. Ayan, so, yan, you heard it first from Coach Chris, what's it like being a letter night? And yun yan, naka, tuloy-tuloy lang ang kwentuhan dito sa The Ultimate Fan Up Podcast. Mag-short break muna tayo mga ka-Ultimate as we will have these messages from our sponsor. We will be right back. Change is here to help us cope with these changes. In these trying times, it's really good to be, keep yourself moving and be fit. Working out these days is a bit of a hassle for me anyway. Because um, during quarantine times, you tend to be lazy and procrastinate, put it off for another day. Face-to-face -face sessions may have uh, stopped because of the pandemic, but good thing SwitchFit has come back through SwitchFit at home. True to their mission, they continue to guide us, um, achieve the healthy lifestyle that we need through their online program, SwitchFit at Home. SwitchFit at Home is a very energetic and interactive way of doing exercises at the very comforts of your home. With online focus coaching that sees to it that all the exercises and the drills are scalable to make sure that everybody enjoys and benefits from them. SwitchFit at Home is a combination of basketball movements and functional fitness workouts with a focus coaching and scalable movements for everyone. I was able to regularly work out and at the same time learning my dribbling skills, you know, working it out and hopefully when I get to play again, I'll be a monster in the court. I was able to get back on track with my fitness at the very comfort of my own. It will always be great to have a community like Swish Fit 
that working out together with one goal, staying fit and healthy. For those guys out there who needs workout, why don't you join us at Swish Fit at Home? And I would like to invite everyone to join Swish Fit at Home and enjoy the fun community. Be with us in this uh, community and the family that encourages everyone to be fit and to be better than yourself every day. I really encourage you guys to join us at Swish Fit at Home and I ensure you, you will enjoy it. Join us every Saturday at 5.30pm and be part of an amazing community. Dito sa The Ultimate Fan Podcast, a podcast made by the fans. For the fans! For the fans. This, is, this is the second episode of our fan engagement series. Kasama si guest co-host, si Francis Maresigan, live from Texas. And si Coach Chris Calagio, ang ating panauwi ngayong gabi. And before we get into the second half of the episode, eh, yun nga, i-mention muna natin at i-shoutout natin ang mga partners ni The Fun Ultimate Fan Podcast. So, si Cha, sino ba yan? Uh, of course, ang ating friend from SwishFit. SwishFit is the first group in the Philippines to combine basketball and fitness into a group class. The SwishFit community is diverse with members who have been playing for a while and those who are still learning, like young professionals, working parents, and those who are trying to live a healthier lifestyle in whatever stage of life they are in. So they combine basic plyometrics to basketball and ang maganda doon, Jordan, is dalawang days in a week na sila nag-online no. ano, nag online training. So if you miss the Saturday training ng 5.30 p.m., meron pa ta- you can still catch up on a Tuesday at 7 Ayun, p.m. No. So Solid you yan. guys check out um, Switch Fit on social media. Switch, Switch Fit PH on Instagram, Twitter, and yung kanilang YouTube channel which is Switch Fit. Philippines. Pati na din yung Facebook page. So, thank you so much, Swish Fit, for um, partnering with the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. Jordan, what's yours? Ay, isa sa mga, yun nga, isa rin sa mga kaibigan ng the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. Kanina, kakadating lang nung monthly, monthly ayuda nila. Itong si Odip, my dip, ang food partner ng the Ultimate Fan Hub Podcast. Ito, yung mga sauce na pinadala, pinadala, pinapadala nila. Ito yung perfect companion para sa sa inyong hapunan, lunch, or kahit snacks kasi marami siyang flavors na mapagpapapilian. And at the same time, healthier option din siya. Healthier option din siya. And pwede itong gawing marinate, pang marinate, or pang mix, or pang sausawan sa yung mga favorite snacks. So to learn more about Odip My Dip, check out their Facebook and Instagram pages. O, that's at Odip My Dip. I-follow nyo rin po at mag-subscribe sa kanilang YouTube channel for recipe ideas. It's Odip Official. And pwede nyo makuha ang inyong favorite Odip sauces by, by direct orders, Shopee or Lazada. Ayan, this is the Ultimate Fan of Podcast. A podcast made by the fans for the fans. Kaya si Coach Chris Calagio. Um, Coach, yun nga, before the break, na, na-mention mo yung lessons na natutunan mo sa yeah natutunan mo sa Detran and how does it apply today Kung, yung lessons ba niya yun kumbaga kasi eventually nag PBA ka nadala safe to say ba na nadala din natin yung mga lessons na yun coach yes so oh, oh, oh. definitely definitely um kailangan eh kailangan um you know uh 
maniniwala naman tayo sa good and bad karma. So, you know, uh, as much as possible, uh, stay low na lang. As, 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 uh, ano. uh, we learn uh, some tough lessons naman during during those times. So, you know, as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, Coach. Um, not that we wanted to ride in the fiasco, but we know that Ikaw yung naka-discover kay Renz Abando. If there is one advice that you would want to give him, ano po yun? Um, well, actually, ano, uh, what I always uh, tell Renz talaga is to, you know, um, continue working hard, enhance your skills. Uh, he has a lot of uh, uh, room or space to, ano, to improve on. Um, Ang sinasabi ko lang sa kanya, let his game, his, let his talent speak for him. Um, uh, yun, siyempre, tulad ng sinasabi ko kanina, um, although natural thing for him talaga is being humble talaga rin at the same time. So, ganun lang. Uh, always be humble and work hard as much as you can. Uh, everything will fall into place. Uh, in God's, by, by God's will, yeah. Ganun lang naman. Yes, lagi kong pinapayo sa kanya. Um, okay. Um, so, ito na nga. You finished your NCAA career as a champion, as an MVP. I mean, nakakot mo na yung mga pwedeng makakot na award sa, sa college career mo. So, May dalawang pro league ka na pwedeng salihan, ang NBA at saka PBA. Uh, yun, uh, gusto lang namin malaman kung what made you decide to join the NBA instead na magpadap ka sa PBA and then, you know, pwedeng kwento mo rin sa amin yung NBA journey mo. Um, okay, in regards to ano naman, um, uh, choosing NBA over PBA that time, um, uh siguro with with uh the decisions with with my agent that time and then ako rin siguro yung kung ano rin siguro yung nararamdaman ko that time is yung uh an opportunity na you no know, uh, room or space to ano to grow pa before entering the the uh ano PBA so at this um uh, i i felt that time na na yung style of play ko uh, parang hindi masyado uh, mag magko-connect pag nag PBA ako ka- agad you know you know what i mean um, i feel na parang uh, marami pa akong kailangan ano uh, para idagdag na weapon sana that time eh. syempre kasama na doon yung experience uh, maturity pagdating sa pro you know para ano and then kasi at that time kasi yung transition ng players di ba hindi ganong katagal na medyo may clean na lang transition ng players so you know somehow uh, you want to make sure na you make an impact when when you get there yeah. uh mean yung in regards to the uh the opportunity to 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 play for NBA instead of uh, PBA right away um, yung journey ko naman sa MBA is uh, parang medyo feel at home ako kasi um, number one, yung team kasi parang Knights pa rin eh, di ba? So, yeah. para feeling ko nasa San Juan Knights pa rin. Ah, I mean, nasa Letran Knights pa rin ako. <laughs> Although, ano, uh, uh, yung, yung, yung team namin is yung very uh, talented yung mga choices I mean mga ano mga pieces namin di ba mm-hmm. andyan si Chito Vectorero di ba uh, coach Chito <laughs> um uh, Mapua di ba uh, yeah and then uh, Jerome of course Jerome Ercito and then si Umansi di ba yes uh, batch din yata di ba batch yata yung ano Umansi uh, si Umansi yes yeah oo um Rafi Rivis and then Maki di uh, mga ex pros, uh, you know, you know, feeling ko parang mas mas mapapa uh, uh, 
mapapatapang ako in terms of playing kasi uh, playing alongside with the likes of uh, Rudy Distrito, uh, Bonel Balingit, di ba? Uh, Maki Di Hoya, Vilmer Banyares, uh, and the rest of uh, ano mga teammates natin de- doon. So, you, you know, parang lahat sila more on talagang uh, medyo tough players. Matatapang. Okay, so siguro um, no, mara- ma- malaking, mar- malaking malaki rin na naitulong sa akin before getting to the prestigious league talaga na PBA. Hmm. Yeah. Saka na- naranasan mo rin mag-champion nun sa NBA nun, coach, di ba? Uh, tingin mo bakit, ano, back in the day, bakit ba nag-hit yung NBA na yan? Sa... Pes din sa Metro Manila saka sa provinces. Bakit nag ano? Bakit Medyo, naging hit? Bakit naging hit? Ah, naging hit. Ah, yeah, okay. Oh. Um, first of all kasi, alam mo naman ang Pinoy eh, di ba? Uh, they love basketball, but not all are, you know, uh, blessed to ano uh, to go to Manila and watch live games. So itong NBA kasi magandang uh, style and opportunity ng ginawa is yung bringing the games to the people. So, lalo na pag may home games yung team. Oh, so, tagang uh, mas maraming nakakapanood, mas maraming naging involved. And then, kaya mas mabilis yung, ano, yung uh, exposure nila. I mean, yung league and then yung players. Uh, ako, yun ang pinakatingin kong main reason bakit hit na hit talaga ang NBA that time. Sige, hindi, go, go Jordan. Go Jordan. Ah, okay. Kasi, um, coach, yun nga, yung, you mentioned yung MBA, but eventually, so, mga more than a, dec- a decade later, eh, ubus mong itong si MPBL. And nakalaro ka pa doon, coach. Naalala ko, you even played for for an MPBL team. Si, yung experience. Oo, kumbaga, nag-full circle ka ba doon no, nung, nakalaro ka sa MPBL recently lang o yun nga does it bring you old memories of MBA na oh this is similar ganun. may ganun ba coach? Um, well uh, playing in the MPBL was uh, really a uh, uh, a hard choice uh, to do you know uh, si Pelo Letra na din natin si coach Elvis Tolentino is a close friend of ours uh, talagang uh, me aside from ano also di ba uh, coaching also so I'd like at the same time um, uh, gusto ko rin tumulong kasi uh, coach Elvis was asking me to ano somehow uh, guide young players kasi di ba um, MPB is an, ano parang commercial league na so most of his players uh, or yung team talaga is uh, coming off from college teams. So somehow okay. he wanted to mix the the team with ano parang veteran and young guys, di ba? Although I must admit talagang uh, nashak talaga ako, nashak talaga ako dun, ha, sa game nila. Lalo na yung first game ko sa MPBL, akala ko mamamatay na ako kina bukasan. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit, Coach? <laughs> uh, um, matagal ako minto eh. Um, okay. Matagal na akong hindi naglaro. So, you know, uh, parang siguro, sabi na natin, parang Wednesday club lang siguro, paminsan-minsan naglalaro ako. Pero um, si Coach Elvis kasi nakita niya akong naglaro sa Legends, P- yung PBA Legends, di ba? Parang nabuhay yon So, may team kami. And then, yun, nakita ako parang feeling niya kaya ko pa <laughs> so pero ang 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 more on ano naman more on uh, ang goal naman kasi is to guide nga yung mga young players niya sila Ives Sason and then the rest of the guys you know um, so willing naman ako so I tried and then uh, parang tingnan natin parang uh, wait and see sabi ko let's see kung kaya ba oh. pero to tell you frankly, uh, binibigyan ko yung sarili ko ng uh, parang four, four games, sabi ko. Kung, kung kakayanin pa ba itang tuhod ko o hindi na. O, parang ang hirap. Parang alam mo, parang ang hirap. Parang yung first 
one or two weeks ko parang talagang akala ko talagang grabe yung muscle pains grabe ang uh, pamamaga ng mga tuhod ko <laughs> I need to take a lot of uh, ano parang uh, uh, ano ba tawag dito parang meds din at the same time para <laughs> ano para lang makalaro di ba parang gusto ko lang kasi i-try kung kaya pa o hindi at the same time mentoring also yung mga young players ni Coach Elvis So napakahirap 'yon ha. Uh, nag-enjoy na lang ako siguro nung mga after uh, couple of games. And then from there parang alam ko na, na-feel ko na nagba-bug down na 'yung katawan ko kasi syempre bugbog na rin talaga all throughout the years of playing, 'di ba? So kaya ano lang. Siguro parang eight eight games lang yata ako doon eh. Yes, ako paglaro sa MVP yan. No Francis. Okay coach uh, so babalik tayo dun sa ano mo no dun sa MBA career mo no Syempre isa dun sa mga perks nung naglalaro ka sa MBA was to represent the national team nung 2001 SEA Games oh, yeah. sa oh, oh. Malaysia yeah. di ba Well of course sa sobrang lakas ng lineup I mean assured na yung gold medal <laughs> Um, Actually, but of course, yeah. syempre yung nung na form yung national team na yon, of course may mga may mga drama behind the scenes noon. Because yes, nung yes. time na yun, yung MBA nag ano na magsasara na sila. And of course, trying to defend the country and then thinking na kung may babalikan ka pang team or wala was syempre daw parang I guess hindi rin nakatulong eh, medyo naka ano din, naging challenging din sila. So, paano yung naging proseso sa'yo nung after you win the gold medal and when, then you found out na yung MBA magpo-fold na? So, ano, what made you decide? Ano yung proseso na pinagdana mo then to suddenly decide na mag-join ka na sa BBA? Well, um, alam mo yung nangyaring yun. Parang blessing din eh. Parang feeling ko blessing din, okay? Kasi number one, di ba, was talking about timing a while ago yung aside from maturity, yung timing na dumarating. So parang pag panahon mo, naniniwala ako eh, panahon mo, panahon mo, parang ganun. So, uh, parang to sum up siguro yung ano ko, yung career ko, sabihin ko lang, lang na uh, uh, parang uh, talent plus uh, timing parang ganon. kasi ang dami naman yung papadraft na magagaling di ba sa PBA pero yung iba hindi pa nga nakaka-sign di ba hindi pa napapapirma hindi na draft so yung feeling ko ganun yung nangyari eh well when then talking about the process naman um, of course pag ikaw player ka athlete ka you you don't stop okay regardless na there's a negative negativity going around Uh, at the back of your head or at the back of your mind parang tuloy lang so you can stop kasi di ba pag bawang uh, that time na after winning the gold medal pagbalik niyo ng Pilipinas um, you're not even sure if you're you're still secured sa isang team or not di ba so uh, from there talagang yung mga choices mo talaga na all the tough choices to choose pero nasa iyo pa rin yun if how you would uh, react to that to those kinds of situation so ako ginawa ko lang siguro and then other players then also at the same time since magkakaroon ng drafting nag, nag extra nag extra talaga extra workout on our own i remember hiring ano eh um, parang personal trainer pa ako noon that time sa sa San Juan um George Ferreras, nasa Italy na yon, And then, uh, fellow MTB rider. Uh, ano na rin yun, rider ngayon. So, if he's watching, I don't know. Kamusta? So, he was my, uh, no, parang that time, he was my, uh, my, uh, parang, a weight trainer. Tapos, at the same time, tinutulungan niya ako sa, sa deals ko. May, may, may drills akong ginagawa sa, sa court. Parang shooting, more than shooting. Then, Other than that, parang ganon. So, uh, yun lang. Kailangan magpakondisyon para by the time na drafting, dumating. And then, may teams na kailangan mo magpakita para tryouts. And uh, gusto ko nila makita. Ready ka. 
yun lang naman ang kailangan natin gawin pagka uh, athlete ka eh. Pag dumating yung tamang opportunity or yung opportunity na darating sa'yo na uh, magbubukas or mag, uh, ano, uh, uh, darating, I mean, yun nga, darating, um, kailangan as much possible ready ka. Go, um, Cicha. Coach Chris, I'm picking up a question sa ating Facebook Live comment. Um, now that you've mentioned uh, making tough decisions and all because of yun nga, mag, nagsara ang MBA and ano, coach, uh, sabi ni Alvin Francisco, uh, ito yung question niya, um, meron ka daw po bang isang greatest disappointment as a player? Uh, greatest disappointment? <clears throat> Well, um, um, during all throughout my career or nung... Yeah. Yes, yes. Pa, all throughout your career. Well, oh, marami. Actually, meron. Uh, isa na doon is yung, yung while still playing for San Miguel, di ba? Uh, pero parang in and out ako sa lineup. No injuries. Uh, I really feel I I can I can play I, I can contribute to the team pero syempre nga sa so, sa sobrang powerhouse ng lineup you know you are being sacrificed parang ganon yung isa sa mga frustrations yung mga yung ganon so parang uh, unfair di ba pero you know you have to live with that so na yun Kasi coach, di ba, nung sa San, di ba, after playing for Shell, nag-San Miguel ka, uh, you had yes. to play behind guys like Dondo Nontiveros, Danny Siegel, then nagkaroon pa ng Lordy Tugade, nung mid-2000s, yeah. di ba? Uh, sa, sa sarili mo ba nun, parang did you feel na you can contend for as yung, as, as, at least yung regular rotation? Uh, kasi mga shooters din naman yan, may Chris Calagio naman na shooter din. Uh, la, does it run in your mind na you could have earned you, you you should have that ano regular rotation spot sa San Miguel noon. Well ano uh, um first thing first okay when I got to San Miguel okay thankful ako kay coach uh, ano uh, coach Jong o Chico di ba kasi he was without him you know I wouldn't be able to play for the San Miguel Corporation di ba San Miguel team um Excuse me, okay. Um, going back, okay. So, mga frustrations, di ba? Number one, nag-shut down ng MBA. Di ba? So, from there, parang uh, maraming question, maraming frustration, maraming... Uh. Second thing, bago ako mag-San Miguel, nag-disband ang shell. shell. Yeah. Di ba? So, yun na naman. You're, 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 you're thinking about your family's future, security na naman, and everything. Okay? So, you know, then, uh, may blessing na darating, di ba? May, may, pag may sumara, may sabi nga nila, may, may bubukas na pinto. Okay? So, the opportunity with San Miguel came. And then, from there naman, um, I accepted the fact that uh, uh, if I really wanted to play for San Miguel, uh, I know uh, what role I am going to ano to take, di ba? So from there, talagang from the start pa lang, ano ko na yun, nasa puso ko na yun, na alam ko na ang gagawin ko. Role player ako. Okay, so uh, uh, kumbaga parang uh, nilagay ko na sa mind ko tsaka sa puso ko na I will be playing behind uh, uh, and support uh, Don Don Honteferos and the uh, superstars of San Miguel, di ba? Uh, setback, yes. Okay. Pero, if there's one thing na I am grateful talaga uh, when, when uh, during that time, dun ako, dun ko lalo na enhance yung shooting, shooting, ano ko, uh, shooting skill ko. You know why? Because number one, okay, you're playing behind Don Don Hontiveros, you're playing behind uh, Lordy Togade, mm-hmm. and then not to mention yung iba pa, di ba? Okay? So, yung two guard spot talaga is very, very tight yan, okay? Dumating, dumarating sa point na one miss you die, okay? So, first thing, I have to defend 
kung sino man ang task ko, halimbawa, uh, most likely, uh, lagi naman, James Yap, okay? Hmm. You have to defend and make sure they don't score. At the same time, on offense, you have to make sure you make shots. Okay? Dumadating yung point sa akin na parang uh, I have three chances to take a shot. Or sabi natin two. Or, or two shots lang. O, kasi, di ba, usually I come in to uh, for Don Don to rest. Di ba? So, dapat ma-maintain yung lead. Ma-maintain yung, uh, uh, yung mga pinaghirapan nila ng time uh, minutes na, na naglaro sila. So, uh, you have to work uh, extra effort to, you know, somehow do that. So, I defend uh, tough players, okay? At the same time, on offense, I shouldn't be missing shots, okay? So, yan ang, yan ang isang, ano, uh, parang uh, one thing that I'm grateful or, uh, ano, experiencing kasi um, yan ko na, 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 ano, talaga, na, na-enhance talaga yung, yung shooting, yung shooting, ano ko, yung shooting skills ko. Um, if you miss the first shot, chances are you're sitting down. Kuha nyo, di ba? Okay. Yan ang, yan ang ano ko, yan ang parang, parang yan ang ano ko, parang burden ko. So, what should I do? Take a lot of shots every practice. Talagang practice ako ng practice ng shooting ko. Spot up shooter ako eh, okay? So, parang uh, sa tiwala sa akin ni Coach John Chico that time, uh, parang mas gusto niyang pag dumating sa akin yung bola, ibato ko na lang kaysa kung ano-ano pang gawin ko, mag-dribble pa ako at kung ano-ano pang gawin ko. So, yun ang talagang role na pinigay sa akin ni Coach John Chico. Whether kung ano mang position mo na, I mean, kung nasaan ka man sa part ng court, make sure na kung kaya mo itira, itira mo na lang kaysa kung ano pa gagawin mo sa bola. Ganun. So, yun lang. I make sure na I always make the first shot. That's the very tough uh, role to do. Ima, uh, hmm. Isa na lang kwento ko, yung ano, Sige, ah, yung gagamitin ka I mean, hindi ka gagamitin for the first three quarters biglang mapapaul trouble sila doon doon mapapaul trouble sila ano? crucial time, let's sabi natin fourth quarter, last five minutes last uh, four minutes doon doon needs to rest ikaw ang mapipili nilang bunutin, okay? alam nyo naman ang Araneta, ang Inares ang <laughs> pakalamig, di ba? So, pag ikaw tumagal ng three quarters na hindi nakakalaro, nanginginig ka na diyan sa loob ng court, inom ka pa na inuman tubig, di ba? So, you know, so ang hirap. So, once na binunot ka, you have to perform. Yan ang professional. You have to perform. You can you can you can uh, make alibis, di ba? So, yun yung talagang uh, ginawa kong ano ko, parang uh, parang uh, what do you call this? Parang mission ko, parang goal ko. Okay. Um gabitin ako in any 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 ano any time of the game kahit o last 1 minute, last 30 seconds niya ng buong game. Hindi ako nagko-complain, pumapasok ako kasi professionally kailangan 'yan. Okay? Pagdating naman ng crucial times, ginamit ka, na open ka. You have to take we have to take the shot. You have to make the shot. So, 'yun lang talagang ano ko, talagang toughest uh, ano ko, experience ko with San Miguel talaga. Para gusto mo makatagal ng extend ng one minute sa loob ng court, make shot, defend. Make shot, defend. Ayan. Go guys. Well, kaya, well, kaya si Coach Chris, eh, tinitignan ko kasi yung, ano, eh, yung list of achievements mo nandun na yung Mr. Quality Minutes. Eh, talagang yeah. sinusulit talaga niya yung minutes na nasa court siya. Oh, Francis, mukhang may gusto kang mga bat- batiin dyan sa live stream natin tsaka may pinapatanong ata yung mga friends natin. Um, um, binabati ko nga pala si, ano, si Father Vic Calvo na nanonood Ayun, siya oh. ngayon. Oy, good evening, <laughs> Father. Yes, yes, si Father Vic. Um, Father Vic. Tika, sino pa pwede natin batiin dyan? Um, si Ron J. Enrile kanina na comment oh, oh, Si Coach Ron J. Yes. He also ano acknowledged uh, former Letran Knight Dale Santos. Uy! Comment, Ariba Letran. 
Oh, oh. Eh, yung mami ko nanonood yan. Mami, kamusta? <laughs> Nako, pasyon ko na ako. Hindi ako sana yung mag... Uh, ano? <laughs> oh, okay yan, coach. Ito nga, coach, may nag-comment eh. Ano, kung pwede mo ba i-shoutout to eh. Si Miss Kish Pidyamore sabi niya, Uy, nainlove ako mag-basketball dahil sa kakanood ko kay Chris Calanyo. Ayun. Wow. Yan no? <laughs> ano, yung, yung friend ko na si Manilin Pontillas. Uh, kasi idol ka rin niya nung Siyempre, nung medyo patapata pa kami, gano'n. Idol ka kanya so, nung grade school. Tanda ko na talaga, no? Patapata pa kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Teka lang, Francis, ha, bago ka magtanong. Nag na tayong lumayo. Parang may sinasabi tayo pareho sa social media nung pinopromote natin tong podcast. Eh. Kasi, Coach Chris, sa totoo yeah. lang po, hindi namin alam ni Francis ang letra night kung hindi dahil sa'yo. Wow. Ayaw! Ako, maraming maraming salamat Ayaw, naman. Uh, Katawa naman ang puso yun. Hindi cooking yun, Coach. <laughs> hindi cooking yun. Totoo yun. <laughs> Kaya we eventually became literal knights ourselves. So, wow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, um, very proud. You know. uh, literal knight talaga. Uh, talagang nakakamiss. Sobrang nakakamiss, di ba? Uh, although talagang gusto, kahit gustong gusto namin na makapasyal doon. With the, lalo na ngayon, with this time, talagang hirap. Go, Francis. Okay. Uh, may, may, ano, may tanong ako, no? So, eto na, you had a lengthy career sa PBA, no? And, so, after basketball, you ventured into coaching. So, but you're coaching, particularly you're coaching kids and young men. Um, how was the transition to coaching? And, Um, I heard from the, gate, the grapevine na uh, 2016 pa lang kinukulit ka na na letran for a for like for a coaching interview. Um, in the future, like it, it like in the future, um, are you gonna entertain the idea of coaching our alma mater? Uh, okay. Um, first of all, ano uh, um. Uh, venturing to coaching, okay? Ito lang ang naalala ko talaga, sinabi ko kay Olsen Rasela noon that time nga sa San Miguel. Para, parang feeling ko parang ang ngayon ko mag-coach kasi parang ang hirap, parang ganyan-ganyan yan. Parang kinain ko rin yung sinabi ko noon, naalala ko yun. So, um, uh, talagang doon ko na, ano, na talagang hindi tayo malalayo sa bola. <laughs> So parang uh, since na dito na rin naman yung 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 experience natin throughout throughout uh, growing up and then uh, playing have having a career so you know I might as well giving it back to the to the young ones you know parang uh, share share your knowledge share yung experience share yung uh, kung pwede makapag-mold makapag-produce uh, makapag uh, makatulong sa, sa ano sa parents ng mga bata na you know uh, through to the program ng basketball di ba varsity you know yung scholarship di ba ako yun ang lagi ko ine-emphasize lalo na sa amin dito sa probinsya uh, malaking bagay sa mga sa mga young athletes yung ano yung scholarship para sa pamilya nila i mean sa parents nila malaking tulong yun so ini and dami kami na encourage talaga na mga potential and then at the same time mga 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 players din at the same time na na may hilig talaga passion din ng basketball okay um then going to your question na ano yung yung uh, going for an in- in interview with the with the coaching job for Letran that before parang kailan nga ba yun parang yeah few years back um I really wanted to do it pero you know I feel na parang yung uh, hindi pa panahon para ano para pumapel sa coaching ano sa sa big 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 exposure NGA di ba uh, pero uh, gusto namin tumulong parang kung pwedeng kahit uh, assistant coach or everything, pwede yun. Pero, uh, mas marami pang deserving 
I feel na mas marami pang deserving uh, sa akin na mag-umawak ng ano ng coaching job sa Letran that time. Oh, and even up to now siguro uh, kasi sa experience, di ba? Like uh, ako na sa province ako. Pero if given the opportunity to be to be part to be given an opportunity to be part of a coaching staff, why not? Gugustuhin ko 'yun talaga. Shooting coach so, daw, shooting coach. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. O kaya sa ano? O kaya sa recruitment, wink wink coach. <laughs> well, yes. So, um, actually, pagka sinabi mo namang coaching staff, marami namang roles nang ibibigay sa iyo ng mga ano sila, ang head coach. Eh. Tama, tama. Uh, uh, ano lang, medyo nalayo lang ako sa sa Manila kaya ano. Kaya medyo slim yung chances natin na ma-expose 'yan, di ba? Yes, coach. Uh, although, at least, Palay parang... Mo, well, Palay niyo po, coach, uh, now na mo, coach Bonnie. So, <laughs> cross fingers. Uh, hopefully, pero number one muna sana is makabalik na sana uh, yung basketball sa atin. You know? Yes, coach. Ano, matapos na rin itong pandemic na to. So, you know, we can all go back to our normal lives. Uh, yun ang pinaka-importante. <laughs> Pag dumating yung opportunity at time na yan, why not, di ba? Oo, tama, okay yan, tama. coach. Abangan natin yan. Uh, coach yes. Chris Calagio joining us tonight, Letran, Letran Night Icon. Uh, coach, ito, ito staple question kasi ito lagi sa sa show natin. Actually, pinupulot ko lang dito sa comment section ni kay Sir James Toledo. Isang magandang gabi sa'yo, sir. Actually, yung nagtanong kanina pala, coach, about sa coaching, kagaling yun kay Sir Gilbert Ricaforte. Isa rin magandang kasi oh, sa'yo. Oo, Gilbert, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Coach, ito, tanong natin sa'yo. Kasi, ano, um, sa show na to, meron tayong tinatawag na parang Mount Rushmore question. Pero, lagyan natin ng Pinoy twist. Gawin natin, imbis na, kasi Mount Rushmore, apat ang nilalagay na tao. Dito, gagawin natin yan sa 1,000 peso bill. Meaning, tatlong oh. tao ang ilalagay natin dyan. Ito, coach, tinatanong ni James, sino ang top letran legends of all time ang ilalagay mo doon sa 1,000 peso bill? Pwede mo isali sarili mo doon, coach Chris, syempre. Alam. Memory na naman ng... <laughs> Pili ka lang mga, mga athletes na gusto mong isali sa 1,000 peso. Tatlo, no? Tatlo. 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 Oh. Pwede, sarili mo ito doon. Sarili mo, coach. Dalawa na lang. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Mas marami <laughs> na mga ano. Uh, well, syempre, di ba? Uh, sino ba mga ano? Mga panahon na ano? Na... Dami eh, di ba? Uh, sabihin natin... Coach Rudy! Hmm. Rudy Hines, di ba? Naglaro ba siya sa Lepran? Oh. Yes, the coach Rudy. Mabubuking ako nito. <laughs> yeah, di ba? Tapos champion player si coach Rudy. <laughs> Sino pa ba? Coach Mulet. Ayun, pwede. Di ba? Mulet din eh. Team mate sila ni coach Rudy. Isa na lang coach. Oh. Teammate ba? Teammate ba sila noon? Yes, si teammate coach. sila. Oh. Ah, talaga? Galing nyo sa history, ah. <laughs> Siyempre. Uh, basketball historian po yan si Francis Coach. <laughs> ah, okay. Kaya pala. Okay. Third <laughs> one, sino ba? Sino ba sa pinaka-latest na ano? Ito yung pantay Jose Abad Santos na pwesto. <laughs> lang. Siya, uh, multiple Can MVPs. Multiple <laughs> MVPs natin, di ba? Si ano? Kirby. Ayun. 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 Oh, Ayun. Oh. Ilang so, MVP pa si ilang MVP pa si Kirby sa Letran? Parang tatlo yata, di ba? Isa lang. Isa lang coach. Isa lang ba? Yes. 1999. 1999. Oh. 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 Kasunod ni Coach okay. Chris. Oh, kasi kasunod oh. Dominating si Kirby sa mga big man eh all throughout nung playing ano niya sa Letran talaga. Ayun. Sabi nga ni Gilbert Five Ricaforte, five. ang sa kanya naman daw si Chris Calagio, Samboy Lim sa Freddy Web. Ayun oh. No. Sabi ni sabi ni oh, Sir okay. Gilbert. Oh, Francis, meron ka bang all-time ano? Oo oh, nga, nandito ka na rin Francis, baka gusto mo na rin mag-chime in. 
well, kung yung kung ano lang ah, kung ang ilalagay ko na lang siguro yung, yung mga napanood ko at naabutan <laughs> for now. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, so, ayun na. Trade web agad. Basta na lang ito. <laughs> si Chris Calagio at saka si ano, si Samboy Lim. <laughs> Yun. Ah, Oo oh, nga, si Papa Sam pala. Nakalimutan ko. Dalawa lang Papa yun na. O oh, may isa ka pa, Francis. Eh, sabi, eh, di ba isang libong, ano, yung tatlong Oo, tao na sa isang libo. Sino oh, ba? Sinabi ko na yung tatlo. De, sabi ko, si Kirby, si Chris, at si Kirby. Ah, okay, okay. Ito, buti pa si... Paano lang ito, ah, baka maging issue ito, ah, hindi. Ah, hindi, hindi naman. Kaya naman naman itong issue yan, walang issue yan. Hindi, hindi, joke lang, joke lang. Oo. Sorry, lagang mahina memory ko, kaya... Okay lang yan, Coach. May hirap yung tumatanda. Ako na bahala, kami na bahala kay Coach Mulet at saka Coach Rudy. Go, guys. Ito, Coach, um, as we are winding down itong episode na to with Coach Chris Calagio, ito, ipapasa ko itong tanong na to. Actually, gusto ko magtanong ito si Sicha at saka si, Fra- or si Francis. Eh. Take it away, guys. Ano bang gusto nyo tanongin? Kung baka ito yung ultimate question ninyo para kay Coach Chris Calagio. Ay, ikaw na siya eh. <laughs> okay. Coach Chris, wala po itong kilalaman sa basketball. Okay. Um, isa lang naman po, hindi naman po siguro mahirap na question. Kaano po kasarap maging letranista? Oh. <laughs> okay. Alam nyo, ah... Uh... Diba nga sabi nga nila, once a letter a night, always a letter a night, di ba? Um, so ba sarap kasi eh, talagang iba-iba ang support ng ano ng letter night. Kita mo sa, sa, sa social media pa nga lang eh, di ba? Uh, NCAA times, talagang grabe sumuport ang mga letter night, talagang anywhere. Oo, kita ko nga, pagka sa mga ibang batches din, pag may uh, kahit hindi ko friends, okay? So talagang uh, involved lahat eh. Mas mabilis lang maging involved ako. Kaya ako, very, ano ako eh, very, uh, uh, parang, parang, uh, parang, uh, ano ba, sorry ah, I'm lo- lost for words talaga. Um, ta- sa mga, ano, sa mga alum- alumni homecoming natin, yung uh, ano, time na, ano, na dapat, Sana nagpapakita ako, nakikita ako, nakakapag, uh, ano, nakakapag uh, attend ako sana, mga ganun. Pero yung uh, one thing na ay regret siguro, sabi na natin regret na lang, hindi hindi ako maka-attend, hindi ako makapasyal, hindi ako maka- I don't know, siguro yung, yung, yung given nung talaga nandito ako sa province, parang ganun. So, uh, siguro next time I'll, I'll, talaga, I'll try to make, uh, ano, make time to, ano, to attend. Nakakamiss din talaga eh. Nakakamiss din pumasya sa school. Uh, nakakamiss din makita yung mga dating tumulong sa'yo. Uh, nakilala mo, kaibigan mo, classmates mo. Mga, diba? So, ako, uh, I never regret the, the, the time na I was a letter night. Parang very proud ako sobra. Uh, it molded me uh, for uh, from my whole career. Diba? So, talagang very thankful for the opportunity to be a letter night. Hmm. Ayan, Jonas. Oh. Hindi po. Napapalakpak nga ako. <laughs> Go, guys. Uh, Jonas, Jonas. Pakisabi naman yung magic word dahil makalasalian kayo. Ay, hindi mo na, hindi mo na kailangan hindi mo na kailangan makiusap. One, two, three. Arriba, letran! Arriba, <laughs> Ayan, uh, coach, coach Chris, uh, yeah. alam na alam naman natin na parang kakagaling mo lang sa hike kanina na banggit ni. Yeah, oo. Oh, so, oh, Siyempre oh, kailangan ko pang pahinga. Kasi trail so, building ako eh, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. So, ano, coach, on behalf of the show and sa mga co-host ko, maraming salamat sa pakikipagkwentuhan sa amin ng gabi, coach. Thank you. Oo. Oh, um, very thankful ako ha ah, at uh, nagbigyan niyo ako ng, you know, uh, opportunity to invite me dito, okay? Uh, uh, at least, uh, na, naging involved ako, okay? So, sana uh, may katuturan naman yung mga sinabi ko. <laughs> so, sana napasaya ko rin yung uh, ano nyo, mga fans nyo, okay? Yung mga 
nanonood lagi sa inyo. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat. Pasensya na sa mga ano, hindi rin ako ready. Hindi tayo prepared. Um, uh, hindi rin tayo masyado lumalabas sa social social media. <laughs> Kaya very thankful, okay? So sa lahat ng mga nanonood, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig and lahat ng mga kakilala natin, sa lahat ng mga nagplaplano at gusto magpabate, nako, pasensya na talagang mahina memory ni Chris Calagio, okay? Baka mamaya may magtampo pag may nakalimutan ako kaya you know, si Papa Sam nga, si Miwaji nakalimutan ko sa greatest players. So pasensya na po. <laughs> Coach, may mga siguro any short message you can add it, you can add or siguro yun nga, ito na yung chance natin para lang po, coach. para mag-shout out hmm. on top of your mind coach, sino bang gusto nating batiin hmm. any short messages to your fans na masugid na tumutok sa iyong basketball career. <laughs> well, uh, sa lahat ng mga sumubaybay, sumuporta, okay, at uh, nanood, okay. Uh, throughout my career as a letter knight okay letter knight man o hindi uh, sumuporta sa career natin sumuporta sa lahat ng ginagawa natin maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo um, hopefully uh, isa pong Chris Calagis uh, maka, may balik yung mga experience okay sa mga ano, young ones sana makapag uh, makapag produce makapag mentor kami makatulong din kami Uh, isang tulad ko na uh, uh, makapag-guide ng mga uh, mga youths natin okay para sa mga future sana ma- maging future uh, professional players o kung hindi man uh, mai-guide natin sa kanilang mga uh, paths sa buhay nila okay so thank you uh, thank you po sa inyo uh, Shai, Jonas Jordan Uh, Francis, okay, uh, sa inyong show, more power, uh, good luck, and uh, sana sa susunod, parang may mga reunion, ano tayo, uh, reunion, yes. uh, episode, Scott. Uh, episode, yan, oh. looking forward to that, uh, 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 ano pa ba, thank you, and uh, good luck to our uh, Letran team, sana yung mga nasa utak nyong, uh, ano, yun na, alam nyo na yun. <laughs> matuloy. <laughs> so, kung gusto na natin kanina, o, kung matuloy man yun, sana matuloy, di ba? O, yes. Para... Sana maibigay ni Coach Chris. Charot, joke lang po. <laughs> Wala tayong power <laughs> sa doon. Basta eh. kami, kaila- uh, kailangan namin na shooter. <laughs> no, prayers na lang. Through prayers and uh, oh, perfect dasal, dasal timing, na, hopefully. Oh. <laughs> Yun nga, no? Thank you so much, Coach Chris. And before we completely end the show, eh, marami, isa rin maraming huge round of applause and maraming salamat din sa ating naging fan engage, engager na si Francis Marasidan! Good job! Grabe, sobra big time lang din alam mong guest. Imagine back to back, Kirby Raimundo and Chris Calario. Oh, wow. Grabe. Hands down sa'yo, kapatid. Ikaw pa. Ikaw pa, bro. Ano bang... Uh, Oy, ay, excuse me, ha? Sige, Coach. Sige, Coach. Ngayon lang ako, ano, ha? Ngayon lang ako... Uh, Kung baga, kayo yung una siguro na napagbigyan or pinagbigyan oh or talagang God. blessing Yo. talaga. Oh my God. Dito, God. Sa, sobrang, sa sobrang, ano, sa sobrang mahihiyain na ako lately na, no, you know, mag-appear sa mga gantong opportunity. Uh, uh, talagang, ewan ko, uh, very ano lang talaga, uh, overwhelming lang sa mga gantong opportunity. Uh, ewan ko. Actually, actually nga, ako na, pa nga nahiya sa lumapit, uh, mag, mag-message nung una eh, kasi alam ko, masyado kang busy, tapos ano, ayun, pero salamat pa rin, pinaunlakan mo pa rin kami despite your ano, busy schedule. Ah, oh, oh, so, eh, alam mo naman, ah, uh, hangga't kaya. Oo. Oh, ah, medyo pag- naiyala talaga, <laughs> pero wala tayo sa limelight, parang hindi na tayo sanay sa camera, alam mo na. <laughs> parang ganoon. Oh. Ah, uh, si ano naman, Francis, ano message mo sa mga Francis Natics? Ano, <laughs> 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 Francis? Ano ba message mo? Sa mga... <laughs> 
siguro ano? Ah? <laughs> siguro Francis ano? Francis siguro maybe siguro short message siya lang at sa mga uh, kap- kapo fans natin. Na, 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 na gusto din, na gusto din ano, maging part. Oh, na, so, oh, 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 invite, oh, invite, oh, oh, invite natin, no. Oh. Go Francis. Uh, ano, una sa lahat ano, Jonas, uh, Jordan, Chai. Maraming salamat for ano allow me to ano makapasok sa platform na to no um it, it was a fun experience and what a way na uh, madala ko dalawang natran legends back to back di ba and i mean i'm i'm beyond grateful and i'm beyond blessed na nakasama ako sa show na to and of course um para sa mga gusto pang maging ano uh fan engagement guest co-host i-message niyo lang silang ano i-message niyo lang tong show na to sa Facebook page nila or i-message yung personally si si Jonas, si Jordan at saka si Shai. Um, yun. Magka, malay nyo, kayo na yung magiging susunod na fan engagement guest co-host. Pero ano, ma- maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyo um, for giving me this opportunity. And dun sa, ayun nga, kay, kay Kirby at saka kay Chris, uh, Coach Chris, maraming salamat at ano, napagbigyan nyo kami despite your busy schedules. And yun um, no, no problem. Again, oh, uh, Coach Chris, uh, Francis, on behalf of Cicha and Jonas, isang malaking thank you sa inyong dalawa. And I hope na nag-enjoy kayo lahat. Pati na rin ang mga viewers na nanonood ngayong gabi. Maraming salamat sa inyo sa patuloy na pag-support. Thank you. Let's run community. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And Maraming expect, salamat. And expect <laughs> more of this in the next few days. Of course, Unti-unti natin i-reveal ang mga, ang mga guests natin. And yun nga, yung fan engagement series. If you're interested in joining and taking over this podcast, just let us know by sending a message on our official Facebook page. It's the Ultimate Fan of Podcast. Pwede rin sa Instagram or kahit i-message yung kami ni Jonas, si Cha, or ako personally. If yun nga, if friends tayo sa Facebook, of course. So, yeah, that wraps up tonight's episode of the Ultimate Fan of Podcast, a podcast made by the fans. For the fans! For the fans! Ayan, so, si Jordan thank you, Sabon thank you. Dito. Kasama ko si John Reyes, si Chaka Banlong, our guest for this evening, si Coach Chris Calagio, and our back-to-back guest co-host, Francis, we, uh, proud Francis Natic. Francis Natic! Si Francis, oh, si Francis Marasigan, live from Texas. So, wow. yeah, no? <laughs> So again para sa ma- again para sa mga ka-ultimate diyan sabi nga ni coach Chris dasal lang tayo and stay safe and have a great night everybody Good night Good guys night, Arriba Letran Arriba thank you Thank you thank you Thank you yeah Okay Chris maraming salamat stay safe Thank you thank you sir